What common product is a feature you're not sure everyone is aware of? Cell phones can be held up to your ear so you talk in a normal voice instead of holding the phone like it's toast you're about to eat and letting everyone in a 12 foot radius hear your entire conversation. I for the life of me cannot figure out why people do this. To totally eliminate sunburn pain, apply apple cider vinegar. I was on a family vacation and got absolutely fried by the third day. My sister-in-law wanted to spray me down with it, saying it would help, but I wouldn't let her because I thought she was trying to punk me. By the evening it hurt so bad that I'd try anything. Sprayed it on with a sprayer, like a Windex bottle, and within 5 minutes the pain was gone. I was still red, of course, but the pain was 99% gone. It was absolutely miraculous. Modern elevators in buildings, at least in NYC, I'm sure elsewhere as well. One ding, single note, hi, the elevator is going up. Two dings, two notes, hi low, the elevator is going down. I believe it's mainly for the visually impaired. Awesome, there should probably be a full thread for things the visually impaired know better about navigating the world that we do not. If you make a contact in your phone as Frick fricking sucker, you will never get the ducking fricking autocorrect. You are welcome my foul mouthed friends. Whoa, this works. Change to lowercase though as you'll get capitalization mid sentence. When watching YouTube videos the J, K, and L keys are rewind 10 seconds, pause play, and fast forward 10 seconds respectively. But if you're using VLC media player, and honestly, you should be, J and K adjust the audio sync. Ever been watching a movie and the audio doesn't quite line up with the actor's mouths? For me, that's infuriating. Use J or K to dial it in. Every time I post this, people get impressed. Control and V pastes. Control and shift and V pastes without formatting. Yep, I'm impressed. My usually workflow is control plus V. Damn it. Control plus A. Right click. Paste as plain text. In Excel. You can press F4 to cycle between the different types of absolute cell references. I feel like there should be an entire thread for Excel tips. Your microwave has lower power settings to better reheat leftovers so they don't have hot spots and cold in the middle. Might be obvious, but most times someone's over my shoulder on my computer they seem surprised. In most browsers if you want to google some text from a web page you can highlight it and drag it up to the tabs area. No need to copy and paste or right click. You can also right click and choose google the phrase you highlighted. Great. Gasoline will cut through most grease and glue. It will almost instantly dissolve duct tape adhesive. Liquid dish detergent is really good for taking oily greasy stains out of clothes, the kind that are still there even after a cycle through the washer. For even better results, put the dish detergent on the stain, dampen the area, and then sprinkle salt on it. I don't know why it works but it does. I've had stains that have already gone through the dryer that came out next washing with this method. Also, if you ever get blasted in the face with pepper spray or OC spray or mace or whatever, dish soap like Dawn is the best solution, because that crap is oil based and dish soap breaks it down really well. <laughs> Leaving a voicemail. Nearly all voicemail machines allow you to press and re-record if you fricked up your message. Most people don't know this and feel like idiots when they frick up the message. The trick to not fricking up a voicemail is to not call anyone. Most ovens range hoods can be opened and propped up like a car hood making it easier to clean underneath. I did this once while house hunting. The realtor was like this is a new stove. It looked pristine but the skeptic in me lifted the hood. It was in fact new, and my realtor was very upset at my destructive behavior. If you plug in a regular controller to the NES while playing duck hunt, it controls the ducks. That was a feature so you could play with a friend. Instant oatmeal packets are lined so you can use them to measure and pour your water. I don't even own measuring cups I just keep old oatmeal packets of assorted sizes in the cupboard. Baby onesies are that weird shoulder construction so that when baby has a blowout and there's crap everywhere you can pull the onishi down off the baby to avoid smearing crap on baby's face hair upper half. Also makes it easier to get it on a baby with a big giant freaking head. Really. There are bits at the end of a stapler you can reverse so the staples bend out instead of in, for a less permanent stapling that is easier to remove by hand. 
A common prank when I was in school was to turn that thing around so that people would end up with funny looking staples on their papers. Microsoft Excel allows you to password lock whole sheets or just sections of sheets. This means you can save a template and don't have to worry about it getting messed up. Or you can lock the sheet so when you send it off, nobody can screw it up and blame IT on Eugene I hate you so much I hope the accounting wing burns to the ground. You can turn off the sound from those annoying videos at the gas pump by hitting the buttons on the right from the top down in sequence. Frick those ads for real though. I wouldn't mind just the video, but the sounds is tinny and piercing and I already don't want to be standing in the cold pumping gas. They probably only get like a dollar per day from those, too. Not so much a product but a service. Your local library almost certainly offers free ebooks and audiobooks via overdrive. All you need is a library card number and a pin. Many libraries also offer online learning courses like Linda. They're a delight. And some libraries gets a little crazy and loan out artwork, cake pans, hand tools. That notch in the blade of your kitchen shears is for cutting things like flower stems and chicken bones that would otherwise just slide out when you try to cut them. With many car key remotes, you can make all the windows go down at once by pushing the unlock button three times. First time unlocks the driver's door, second time unlocks the passenger doors, third time lowers all windows at the same time, a handy feature in warm weather. Yeah my old VW Passat did this. I could never figure out why I would need all my windows open at once, but I do live in England so maybe I wasn't the target market for this feature, unless VW think that everybody likes getting rained on all at once. Most electronic push to start keys for a car actually have a physical key hidden inside it in case the battery to the key fob dies. If your car won't start with the electronic push button you can touch your key fob to the start button and push it in and it should turn on. If it turns on it likely means you have a dead key fob battery which is extremely cheap to replace. If the car doesn't start, you have a bigger issue, a dead battery, issue with the starter, etc. And should take it to a mechanic. Windows operating systems. Press Win plus 1 to open the first application on the taskbar. Same for Win plus 2, etc. Press Win plus A to open the notification bar on the right. Press Win plus E to open File Explorer. Most browsers. Press Ctrl plus W to close the current tab. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus T to reopen that tab you just closed by mistake. Press Ctrl plus Tab to switch to the next tab. Throw in a shift to get the previous tab. Loads more but I lost motivation. Many phone cameras can see infrared, point a remote at your phone, push a button, and watch your screen. You should be able to see the light that comes from the remote. I use mine to find my glasses when I can't see. Microsoft Word has a reference section that will auto-format bibliographies and in-text citations with different styles. All you have to do is add the sources and it does everything else. You must be lying, otherwise I'll hate myself and all my teachers since middle school. Dry erase markers work very well at getting permanent marker off of things. However, it only really works on hard, non-porous surfaces. If you write on a whiteboard with a permanent marker, just scribble over it with dry erase and it will wipe right off. Baking soda is phenomenal at cleaning sinks and tubs. Just sprinkle it on dry and use a dry cloth and it erases the stains. Vinegar, add a cup at the beginning rinse cycle along with detergent. It makes an excellent fabric softener for cotton based fabrics. If you add it in the beginning it will lessen the efficacy of the detergent. It also does not leave a smell once the fabrics have dried. Have residue from tape or stickers that won't easily come off. Just smear some peanut butter on it and leave it alone for an hour. Wipe it off with a paper towel. The peanut butter breaks down the adhesive. Clogged sink or tub. Get a shop vac and suck the clog out. If it doesn't come out that way, put it in reverse and blow it out. There's a manual eject button recessed into that little hole on your computer's DVD drive to get the disc out should the drive or computer stop working. That hole is the perfect size to poke a straightened paper clip in there. Don't use IT while the drive is still spinning. This is an important point. I feel like it deserves all caps. A good household tip, especially for the ladies is that hydrogen peroxide lifts blood stains perfectly. Don't try to wash blood off with hot water, that will make it bond to the fabric. Also, 
Scrub it with a different part of the same fabric. Redditor's night mode. I suggest to everyone to use it if they are like me and browse primarily on a mobile device. On the rare occasions that I come to Reddit on desktop, I am jarred back to the reality that Reddit isn't black. The valves on coffee bags are not for you to smell, although you certainly can, rather, they are to release gases like CO2 whilst not letting back an oxygen which stales coffee. Coffee emits a lot of gas after being roasted, so if that valve wasn't on there, bags would puff up and possibly explode. I always thought it was to let air out while you roll the bag up to reseal it. Windows 10 Pro or Education versions has Hyper-V available as a feature that can be enabled for free. It's for running virtual machines like VirtualBox or VMware Workstation does. If your toaster has a bagel setting, it will toast just one side of whatever you put into it. Cut a bagel in half, put it in, only the inside bit gets toasted. Great for toasting just the inside of hamburger buns. Shaving cream is amazing for removing stuff. Makeup, grease, tar, fake tan, fake blood, the list goes on. I watched a DIY video and a guy who worked at a hospital would put some shaving cream on the wall before drilling a hole because the cream would catch all the dust, and then you just wipe up. Have you ever accidentally kept caps lock on while writing in Microsoft Word? You can highlight the text, then press Shift and F3 to undo it. If you press those same buttons again, each sentence will have its first letter capitalized. Starting at iOS 11, if you press the sleep button like 5 or 6 times, your phone will make a loud noise and present you with an SOS prompt, which sends your location to calls emergency services automatically after a few seconds if you don't slide to cancel it. You also have to manually enter in your passcode after, even if you cancel. Important, you will still have to give them your location if you need immediate help. They'll only know which cell tower you contacted them from which doesn't give them much to go off of if they need to get to you. This also apparently works very well outside of the US, and on some other devices as well, but you should check your settings to be sure. I feel like this is something everyone should know, but it isn't really made obvious. You know those rolls of tin foil plastic wrap that come in the long rectangle boxes? They have tabs on either end that you're supposed to push in and it keeps the roll in place so you don't have to hold it down when you unravel it. Pretty upset at how infrequently I open a new roll, but at least I know now. In cities on average use intersections there are sensors on left hand turns that track two settings. Is there a car above me and estimated cars in line? Heavy use intersections tend to just be on timers and low use intersections have just the first sensor. The first setting is simple, if there is a car above me, change the light. This means park before the stop line on the goddang sensor you freaking ingrates. The second is more complex. When the light turns green, the computer wants to know how long to keep it green before letting other traffic through. It does this by counting cars that drive over it and analyzing the gap between them. The longer the gap, the faster the light goes yellow. This means when making a turn, get off your freaking phone and stay close to the person ahead of you and we'll all make it through without a single one of us running a red. The little knife on a wine opener is to cleanly cut off the wrapper around most wine bottles. I have seen people who have been waiting bartending for years and use the actual corkscrew to try and rip it off. Just recently realized that shaking a window of an application minimizes all the others that you have open, and it's not just my windows being stupid as usual, and that it's done so you can hide your browser at work when your boss comes in. I can't be the only one that just tried to shake my phone. Your iPhone gathers a lot more location data than you may have originally thought. My phone thought I worked at a bar for a while. Windows has a built-in clip it tool for you to select certain areas on the screen to copy instead of doing an entire screen capture and then cropping. Also, if you hold alt when you take a screenshot it'll copy only active window instead of the entire screen. Useful if you're somebody who keeps a lot of things open at once. The new Galaxy S9, like its predecessor the S8, boasts a 1440p display, but out of box it is set to 1080p, you have to change the resolution and display settings. 
Most toasters have little removable trays at the bottom that catch the crumbs that fall off the bread. It turns out that you can empty those periodically to keep from accidentally burning down your house. Gah, I feel like you have 10 minutes from buying the toaster to not ruin this tray forever. You have been visited by the magical sugar jar puggo. He'll only share his sweetener if you comment sugar please. Mr. Papa, if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.